we finally learned how Claire and Dale's love story ended and we're breaking down all those engagement details. Hey guys, welcome to another shared news from home. We have to talk about Claire and Dale's engagement, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future video. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, and I'm joined by the wonderful Gabby Gonta. Hi, Fiona, let's get into it. Hello, yes, so we finally have some answers, which I know we are so so excited about. Uh, let's yes. dive in and go over briefly, quickly, exactly what happened in the episode. So as we were expecting, Claire decided to go all in with Dale. I mean, we've all seen that mm -hmm. coming from miles and miles away. They had their first and only one-on-one -on -one date, which, you know, sealed the deal. That was it. That was the tipping point. They spent the night together and we saw Claire essentially break up with all of her other contestants. And then, flash forward, there's an engagement. I mean, it really happened so fast. Just just really one thing after another barreled through that episode. It was such a roller coaster ride. Gabby, I want to talk about your opinion on, were we surprised that Chris and Claire and just the show in general pushed for an engagement last night. Like it wasn't just Claire and Dale have such a strong connection. There's no use playing this charade with the rest of the guys. We're gonna, you know, let this end gracefully and bring in somebody else. It was, okay, it's time to get engaged. You have these strong feelings. Let's immediately get like set to be married. How did you feel about that? Were you surprised by it? Did it feel classic bachelor to you? What, what were your thoughts? I'm not surprised at all. I think we've known from day one that it was Claire's intention on being the bachelorette that she would get engaged at the end of it. Even though it was a lot more speedy than normal on this show, it's clear she's in the driver's seat. Her and Chris decided that she wanted an engagement. She was beaming in that moment when he said it would happen tonight, that day. So I'm not surprised at all. And I'm glad it ended up happening. I totally am. You know, this conversation was one of those moments where, you know how they had been peppering in those little, like, breaking the third wall behind the scenes, like, producer conversations we don't usually get? I would have loved a little bit of that in this moment because ultimately, you're totally right. This is what Claire has wanted from day one. Her mind was made up about Dale, not as like someone she wanted to date. She came on the show looking for her husband and she felt she found that in Dale. So if you like follow that logic, of course, an engagement isn't surprising, but it's just so interesting to me. There was no mention of, okay, like, we know you think Dale is your husband. Do you want this now? It's been 12 days. And I feel like there's a good chance that maybe some of that happened off camera. But listen, we got to see some really interesting stuff this season that we don't usually get to see. So beggars can't be choosers. Um, we'll, uh, we will accept this, of course. We did see some nerves from Claire, though. I do want to talk about this. Pre-engagement, we did see her. She wasn't, like, totally confident that Dale would be as excited to get engaged after 12 days as she she was. I don't think it had anything to do with her confidence in his feelings for her and more just his confidence in being ready to take those feelings to that step right then and there. She totally recognized the fact that it it, it is a fast timeline. There's just no denying that. And I think her biggest fear was that the pressure of the engagement might mess everything up. Um, when, when we saw these nerves start to play out, Gabby, how did you think it was going to go? I can tell you personally, there was a minute, minute in my mind where I was like, oh my God, this is going to be the saddest episode ever. They've been teasing such a big twist. You know, he's not going to propose and it's going to break her heart or, you know, he's going to say he wants to be with her, but we're not going to get an engagement. It just, it did make me a little nervous. Um, but maybe that's just me because I sometimes fall into being pessimistic. What did you what did you think when she got all stressed out? Yes, I'm on the same page that you are. They really edited this to keep us guessing. I had no idea what was gonna happen at one point. They were showing us clips of her crying. There was a moment where Chris was walking up to her and said, you know, we need to talk about something, we need to have the talk, and that's never a good sign. So there was a moment when I thought she was going to end in heartbreak as well, but they really flipped it on its head for us, and it turned out with a much more happy ending. But in terms of Clara's anxiety before this engagement, I think it's totally normal to be feeling that way, especially for someone who's had 
bad experiences with relationships in the past, you know, to just be a little nervous and not sure what's exactly going to happen. I think it's totally fair that she was feeling that way. And I feel for her in that moment, but it all ended up working out. Totally. Couldn't have put it better. Totally agree with you. I do. Let's break down the engagement. I mean, obviously the anxiety is whatever. We all know how it played out. We all know we've got a happy ending here. So let's talk about that engagement moment. Claire kicks things off. So Dale came and met her. She kicks things off, kicked off the conversation. She really, really spells out all of her feelings for Dale. She's totally like a, an incredibly confident verbal communicator. Like she put things into words that, I mean, I've been in a relationship for two years and I was like, wow, I mean, she's just got such developed thoughts there. I mean, she really, really <laughs> spelled it out. She did talk about how he always shows up for her. Uh, you know, how he's never let her down. And in a high pressure moment like that, I was like, oh my God, Dale, you better show up this last time or this is going to be so stressful. Um, mm -hmm. And she, of course, had to, she's never felt this way before, which is something we know. She hasn't had the best luck in relationships. So this is all very new. Dale then shared his feelings. He, of course, said he loves Claire. He really validated everything she said, talked about how, you know, he's he's known all along too. And, you know, he's going to continue showing up for her. And it was really sweet. I, I thought it was actually very moving. It seemed very authentic, very genuine. He obviously hopped on and he and proposed. Some notable little one-liners from Claire. She said, put that ring on my finger. I've waited a lot of years for this. And she also <laughs> called herself Claire Moss almost immediately. So moving fast, as Claire and Dale do. You know, what were your thoughts? The moment they took this leap, the gorgeous ring. I mean, it, it really was a sweet moment. I thought that was the most adorable moment when she said Claire Moss. It's such a cute name. And I was so excited for them in that moment. I thought that was adorable. And overall, though, I just feel like everyone's not as invested in them as a couple because it happened so quickly that we didn't get to see them fall in love. We didn't get to see them endure hardships. Kind of nothing happened besides that initial love at first sight connection. So, I mean, I look at it as like a like a rom-com like in a rom-com <laughs> in two hours of the movie like the main couple usually goes through a lot and then by the end if they've endured a lot of hardships and then they finally get back together like you just really feel for them as a viewer and so i feel like we didn't even get that much in this season with claire and dale but you know if they're happy now if it's been months and their relationship is thriving then i'm excited for them so a little bit across the board right there but i just hope they're happy in the end I totally agree. I mean, the thing about Claire and Dale is had we perhaps not had such spoilers about their journey leading into this, you know, it, it may have felt like more of a whirlwind, but it, to me, as someone who, I mean, we talk about the bachelor 24 seven here on this channel. And so just in my life, I'm mm -hmm. so in tune to like everything that's going on. I just kind of felt like it was a lot of like delaying the inevitable. Like, even from episode one on, I was like, all right, well, obviously, I mean, these guys are so excited about her, but there's going to be drama. Or, oh, okay, she's having this really emotional one-on-one -on -one with that guy, but, like, I know she's going to totally get over him in about 13 seconds and only have guys for Dale. So it wasn't like watching this, like, amazing love at first sight connection blossom. It was kind of just, like, checking off the moments, charting, like, the seconds mm -hmm. and the, the timeline until we got to this point. So I do think that, you know... This is why I try to avoid spoilers with this show because I am yes. excited for them. I'm happy she found love, but I totally agree with you. This isn't something that I was like, wow, we just watched some of the most amazing love at first sight ever. I was so taken by surprise. What a season. Like I was just like, okay, yeah, this is all kind of a waste of time. <laughs> we, we know how it ends. So mm -hmm. anyways, aside from all of that, we, we did watch the guys find out that that Claire was engaged and I actually thought that their reactions were one of like the more entertaining moments of the evening it was very brief it was very quick but we saw you know Blake get devastated poor Jason I mean they had mm -hmm. such an intense one-on-one -on -one. she made him like bear his soul and then of course you know <laughs> you had someone like Kenny who was just pissed and I have to mm -hmm. say looking around that room I think there were some guys that were like okay whatever like, I have been fighting for five minutes of this woman's time. She doesn't want to give me five minutes. Now she's engaged. Like, I'm just going to take a sigh of relief. What did you think as you were gauging their reactions in that room? 
exactly it was so funny some of them like you said were crushed some of them could barely care at all so <laughs> it was it was a wide spectrum with the guys and but it was sweet though it was sweet for them to be happy for claire and you know for blake to tell us how much prep he went into meeting this girl i think that was a sweet moment that we got to see so i like i've said every episode i feel for these guys especially in that moment um, I want to talk about where things stand now because we're obviously waiting on like a tell all from Dale and Claire and I'm, I'm very excited about it, but they did stop by Good Morning America. And so we do have a little bit of an insight from that as to, you know, where they are, what the status is, how it's been working out. So first of all, I mean, they are still together. Thank God. It's been three months, mm -hmm. three months relationship, still going strong. Uh, Dale said from the first group date, he was sold. He said, quote, after we had our first group date in my mind and in my heart, everything was already written. So everything after the fact validated that. And I knew in my heart, it was going to be her and I at the end of the day. Granted, I don't know that he expected the end of the day to be 12 days in, but that's beside the point. <laughs> he added that he didn't have to consider getting engaged because he knew from the start that that's where the relationship was headed. He said, quote, it was never a question of if I'd proposed. I said it from the beginning. There was never a time I wouldn't be there for you. And my heart was so full. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Never a second thought. If you see in the episode, we're so relaxed and we're so calm together. And we knew at that moment we were exactly where we were meant to be. So this was kind of interesting because, you know, as we were just talking about, we didn't really see their love story go through any sort of developmental stages. Like we didn't get to, I don't even really feel like I know Dale that well. I saw him mm -hmm. some giggly moments where he was trying to lie to the guys. I saw him at one, you know, table with Claire and I saw him and Claire making out a lot, but it's not like I have this great grasp on who he is as a person, as a viewer. So those quotes were interesting. I think it kind of unlocks a little bit like more of validation that he was as sure as fast moving let's say as claire was from day one what, what were your thoughts on what he had to say you're right during the show all we really got to see was claire's side of it it was tons of interviews with her wearing her heart on her sleeve letting all of her emotions out there about how much she was in love with dale and he might have equally have been falling like he said we didn't get to see as much of that like you said from his perspective and i will say his face is a little unexpressive even like in the moments <laughs> when she was gushing her heart out to him or when they were literally getting engaged he like not much is going on in his face but maybe he's just not a very expressive person that, that could be it but you know maybe he's feeling it on the inside like he said in this interview as long as they're happy and they're thriving now i think that's all that counts Claire, of course, also opened up on Good Morning America. She really talked about, you know, the hate and the scrutiny. And I have to say, like, throughout this entire journey, all the way going back to just when those initial spoilers started to come out, like, the scrutiny that her personality, her motives, her, you know, mental stability, like, people have been so curious and so skeptical of this journey of hers for such a long time that I am happy mm -hmm. Um, you know, for her that, that the conversation is going to shift now. We're going to be watching Tasha. We're going to, you know, see how Tasha finds love and hopefully she can just live happily ever after with her person. Uh, she commented on the hate though, saying the things people say without knowing the full truth, without seeing how things really happened, genuinely happened. It just blows my mind in the world right now there's so much negativity and hate and hard things going on right now love and this type of thing should not be one of those things it kind of blows me away on an instagram live that she and dale did after the episode aired as well she said this is the happiest she's ever been and she revealed they are house hunting so i think you know, a lot of hate, a lot of scrutiny, a lot of skeptics out there. But at the end of the day, they're happy. They're they're moving forward. Getting a home together is obviously incredibly serious. And it did sound a little bit like she was alluding to, you know, we've heard those conspiracy theories about her getting a bad edit, those conspiracy theories about, you know, them not really showing us their connection, all that jazz. So 
I'd love to know your final thoughts, Gabby. If you had to put like a bookend on this, the Clarendale of it all, their relationship this season, you happy? Are you into the love story? Are we on Team Clarendale? Are we ready to move on? How do, how do you feel when all is said and done? I was definitely Team Clarendale at the end of this episode. I think what she said on this interview totally sums it up. Love is going to conquer hate every time. So the mean comments and the things she's getting, these people don't know the whole story and they never will. So that's just a great way to end her part of the season, this episode, that love will conquer hate. So happy to hear that. Oh my gosh. Couldn't have put it better. Love that sentiment. All about love over hate here, you guys. We do want to hear your thoughts though. What are your final thoughts? It's okay. You can disagree with us. Maybe you're still not on their side. Maybe you're obsessed with them. Let us know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell because we will, of course, be covering the rest of the season. We got to know what happens to Tasha. You don't want to miss out. As always, I am your host, Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on socials at Fiona Zaring. And Gabby, where can they find you? You can follow me at Gabby Gonta. Amazing. Thanks for watching, you guys. And we will see you next time. Bye.